Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to explore a hassle-free method for downloading and installing Adobe Photoshop Beta offline while enjoying the cutting-edge features like generative fill and advanced artificial intelligence functions from Adobe Firefly. Open the installation file. Now, you need to enter your MacBook login password here and click on OK. After that, click on Continue, and your installation process will start. Now, you can see that the installation process has been completed. However, if the installation file doesn't open directly or if there is an error, you can use this method. Click on the installation file, then select Show Package Contents, open the Contents folder, and then select Mac OS. Now, you need to open this installation file. As soon as you open the file, the installation process will start. After the installation process is complete, you can open Adobe Photoshop beta version. The splash screen of the beta version will look different from previous versions of Photoshop. Here, we will create a new file and then drag and drop a picture from the system folder. Now, we will use generative fill to change the color of this bird. Finally, you can see that AI has generated different colors for this object. You can select your desired color from here. If you want to use this beta version permanently for free, follow the link provided in the description. Here, we have another picture on which we will use the generative fill and see how the result turns out. Follow these steps. You can observe how accurately the AI adjusts the head, hairs, and background according to the picture. Next, we'll try to change the subject dress and see how well the AI performs. Once again, you'll be provided with three options for selection. If you want to see more options, you can click on Generative Fill again to generate another set of three options. You can repeat this process as many times as you like to make your selections. Now that we have used the generative fill to create a new background and change the color of the dress, in case if we have a black and white picture then we will use the neural filter to accurately add the color on these pictures. Let's explore how we can further enhance the photo using the neural filter. Now we will apply the neural filter on this picture and see the results. First, you need to go to the filter options and then select the neural filter. Here, you will find a variety of filters that you can apply to any picture with just a single click. These AI filters allow you to enhance the picture as you desire. However, since this is a black and white picture, so we will apply the colorize filter. After a few moments of processing, you will be able to see how accurately the neural filter has colorized the black and white picture. If you are tired of Adobe Creative Cloud taking up space on your MacBook, you can use the Adobe Creative Cloud Cleaner tool to remove all traces of Adobe software from your computer. But please note that using the Adobe Creative Cloud Cleaner tool will remove all Adobe-related software and files from your system, so make sure to back up any important data before proceeding. Open your web browser and search for Adobe Creative Cloud Cleaner tool for MacBook. Find the official Adobe website and navigate to the download page. Download the Adobe Creative Cloud Cleaner tool for Mac OS.
Once the download is complete, locate the downloaded file and open it. You will be prompted to enter your MacBook login password. Enter the password and click OK. Accept the terms and conditions of the tool. The tool will display a list of all Adobe-related installations on your system. You can choose to delete specific installations by selecting them individually or select all to remove all Adobe installations. After making your selection, click on the Clean All button. Confirm the action by clicking Yes. The tool will clean all Adobe-related files within seconds. Adobe Creative Cloud sometimes cannot be closed properly, and to completely close it, you may need to close its core files, so please follow the instructions in the Adobe Creative Cloud article to resolve this issue. I hope you liked the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching.